Good morning. It is Monday, November 30th, 2020, and we are in the first week of Advent. My thoughts for today have been directed by um, Scott Gunn, who wrote today's devotion and the uh, resource that was made available, Watching and Waiting Advent Word Reflections. And so the word for today was delivery. And so it made me think of all the deliveries that we receive this time of year. We're certainly probably getting deliveries even more so this year than others because of the pandemic of Christmas gifts. Maybe we're getting food delivered more often in an effort to um, still support local restaurants but not go out to the physical place to eat, and even some of them are closed so that we can't, but we have food delivered. Sometimes we have our groceries delivered. Sometimes we have our medicines delivered. There's all kinds of deliveries happening in this time of year. And certainly as we talk about Advent, that's preparation time as a preparation for the delivery of Jesus, not for the first time, but continually among us. Um, we are preparing for Christ to come, to be Emmanuel for us. And so when we think about delivery, there is also a sense of deliverance in Scripture or that way in which we are delivered from one thing to another. We pray it in the Lord's Prayer, right? Deliver us from evil. We want to be delivered from that evil which um, might tempt us and take us away from those things that we are called to do and to be, take us away from the light, take us away from doing acts of love and care and compassion and peace and mercy for the sake of our neighbors. We need to be delivered from those things. Um, Paul in the first letter or first chapter of uh, Philippians talks about deliverance. He's imprisoned and in verse 19 he prays that the Holy Spirit and the work of the people and their prayers might deliver him. So he's in prison so he wants a physical deliverance. He wants to be freed from his physical prison. But I think he's also talking about it in the broader sense that we need to be delivered from all those things that we are in bondage to. Those things that hold us back from seeing the poor, seeing the naked, seeing the hungry, seeing those who are thirsty, seeing those who are imprisoned, seeing those who are our neighbors. And there's all kinds of things we need to be delivered from. And so um, in this season of deliveries, we can pray that we are delivered taken from where we're at now to a place where we can see and hear and act differently for the sake of our neighbors. Let us pray. Gracious God, we give you thanks that you deliver us, that you bring us into your kingdom through the waters of baptism. As we have been delivered, Help us to deliver others through our prayers and through our actions and through our words and through all that we are and all that we do. Help us to be deliverers for others, that we might be the light for others. It is in your Son's holy and precious name we pray. Amen. God bless.